it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear here, and I am here today to give you an overview of the Eureka Minion Brew Grinder lineup. So this is distinct from their Espresso Minion line. Um, there's three grinders here that are specific for brew grinding. We have the Filtro, the Chrono, and the Brew Pro. So one thing that uh, all of these grinders are gonna feature is really, really premium case design. You can see that they have metal casing and um, really nice components. You've got some shiny chrome on the Brew Pro. So they're all uh, pretty highly engineered from a case standpoint. All of them are also going to feature a stepless grind adjuster. So this is something that you are probably most used to seeing on espresso grinders. And the stepless grind adjust really allows you to set the burrs at any distance so that you can get really precise grinds that allow you to get really, really uh, specific flavors out of certain like single origins and, uh, and, and roasts for your pour overs and for your press and, and um, any other slow brew method. So it's a little bit harder to use a stepless grind adjust when you first get started because you don't have those clicky spots with the like, oh, here's your setting for press, here's your setting for pour over. But once you kind of get the hang of how to use a stepless adjust, it's going to give you a lot more precision when it comes to your grind. The other nice thing about the grind adjustment on these, all three of these grinders is that they're uh, bottom burr adjust. So that means that you can remove the top burr and clean the grinder's burrs on the inside without it completely throwing your grind setting out of whack. So that's another uh, really good thing that all three of these grinders offer. The other thing that they offer over the Minion Espresso line for brew grinding is they have custom designed grind paths to work with the coarser settings that you would expect to use for brew grinding. So uh, they're a little bit differently engineered on the inside to ensure that they don't have the clumping and to cut down on static and retention for brew grinding levels in particular. So with that in mind, that's stuff that all three of these grinders uh, feature but let's get into the specifics for each model so that you can kind of understand the differences between these three. So first up, we have the Filtro. The Filtro is the most affordable option in the line, and it's also kind of the most static, uh, or uh, basic, I should say. Um, one thing to note too is that all three of these grinders do feature this smoked hopper, so you'll get that with the grinder. Uh, we just have it on the uh, Brew Pro for now, but the Filtro in particular is going to be a pretty simple to operate grinder, so it's good if you don't really need any additional bells and whistles. All you have to do is just push the button down here to get it to grind. You hold it down until your grind is complete. So this is a really great option if you, for example, single dose your coffee, meaning that you, uh, you weigh out just the beans that you need for your brew, and then you put them in here, hold the button down until the grind is complete, and you've got really high quality grounds for the most affordable price in this range and with really simple operation. Um, Next up, we have the Chrono, which is going to be similar to the Filtro, except with the addition of a timer dial down here, which is a little bit hard to see, but basically you can rotate this time dial and it allows you to just set it for a pushing in the catch bin here, and then it'll just grind for your time. Um, this can be good if you brew a specific brew method all the time with specific volumes because you can set that timer and get pretty consistent results so that you don't have to weigh out your grounds every single time. Um, the timer is also nice if you single dose and you don't wanna hold a button down because you can just set the timer to the maximum, push the hopper in, get your grounds while you prep other parts of your brewing. Um, the timer though, it's important to note that with these kinds of uh, brew grinding, you're brewing at pretty different settings depending on whether you're gonna use press or pour over or drip. So that means that the grind time is going to differ from setting to setting pretty significantly. So it's important to remember that timer is really good to have, uh, but it doesn't mean that you can just set it one time and then get the same result for every single time that you grind. But definitely nice to have and a bit of a step up from the Filtro. And then finally, the one that is the most distinct in this line is the Brew Pro. Obviously, it looks very distinct compared to the other two. Uh, it has this um, kind of vibrant screen here. It has the shiny chrome accents, and uh, it generally kind of has a more premium look to it, but it's also uh, really nice because it has this touch screen for dosing. 
So instead of using a little dial on the side like on the Chrono, on the Brew Pro you can set a digital timer here which is a little bit more responsive and gives you a little bit more exact timing for your uh, brewing. And you can also set a couple of different options for timing. So that kind of gets back to what we were talking about before, where if let's say you like to do a drip brew sometimes and a pour over sometimes, you could set one of those to each, dial it in for each one to get the right amount of grounds and then switch it back and forth. Now, of course, you're gonna be changing the setting for those things. One of the other nice things about the Brew Pro that kind of makes this all work is that this features a single revolution grind adjuster. So that means you rotate through the entire uh, range of the burr settings through one revolution of this uh, adjuster. That's different than the other two where they're a little bit less precise. You can still get obviously very precise grind once you dial them in, but the process of dialing in the Brew Pro is a little easier because you have this grinder or this, uh, this single revolution grinder adjuster. Uh, so that means that you can switch between settings because you just look at the number and then change it to the other number. And when combined with the two dosing options on the screen, means that you're going to be able to swap between two different settings for different brew methods, which is really nice. The other thing about the Brew Pro that is kind of a step up from the other two grinders in the line is the Brew Pro features 55 millimeter burrs that were specifically designed for brew grinding. The burrs in the other two are still great for brew grinding, especially when you combine them with the range of settings you can get. But on the Brew Pro, the burrs were engineered specifically to work with the grind path to really create fast grinding that is consistent and uh, will avoid things like static and clumping to the best of their ability. And all of this can be controlled with the same kind of simple activation of the chrono where you just push the catch pin in to get your grounds. So that's gonna do it for this overview of Eureka Minion brew grinders. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And uh, you know we're a big fan of this line of grinders. They're worth the expense and uh, we hope that the, this overview has helped kind of outline what they're all about. Thanks so much. Oh, yes.